Hi, I'm Tim Barnes, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas, your source for Ford news update and information with a video on the 2023 Ford Bronco. So we're uh, covering, going to be going through the all of the different Bronco uh, trims for this model year. These are what we call our complete guide videos. We cover all the standard equipment, as well as different options that you can have on a 2023 Bronco base trim, which is what we're going to start with here. So this is a great video if you like these or like to stay updated on information when it comes to Ford vehicles. Uh, then you're going to like our YouTube channel. So hit that red subscribe button down below so you can subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so that we can get stay notified next time we have another video uploaded to YouTube channel. So we're going to dive in. We're going to talk about uh, what's uh, how these are equipped, how, what's standard. Pretty similar to last year uh, for this year, but there are some other new options and, and add-ons to some of these other trims. So we're going to start uh, going through this. We're going to go through all the trims. This one, of course, we're dedicating and just talking to the base trim. Now, you will see I am going to actually uh, show you a screen of Ford's building price because the 23 building price is up, but you got to know where to find it. Uh, so if you go on over here, let's see if we get this up. There we go. If you go on over here to Ford.com, as you can see right here, and you go to uh, SUVs, which is normally where you see Bronco, you can see there if you go to building price, it's still the 2022 information. And uh, oh, now they've actually updated it. Never mind. So they just updated this recently. So now uh, you can get to it before you actually had to put in the URL and know what that URL is. Now it looks like when you click on that, it does bring up the new URL. So we are seeing the different trims available. So we have the base, the Big Ben, Black Diamond, Outer Banks, Heritage Edition, Badlands, Wild Track, Everglades, Heritage Limited Edition, and Raptor. So 10 versions to choose from here uh, on these. So uh, this video is going to be really useful for those that have a current 22 and they're looking to update that that configuration or that the order for 2023. So you, your order got carried over in a sense to 23 then you can go in right now and talk to your dealers and reconfigure yours. So hopefully these videos will help with that in the next several weeks while uh, people are trying to get that all uh, taken care of. I think they have to like November 21st to kind of go ahead and do that and update their order. Uh, and then, you, of course, your private offer uh, that you're going to get back for price protection is going to be based on this year's configuration, not what you had last year. So let's say last year you had a base trim and... Um, this year you decided you want to go black diamond. Well, your private offer that Ford's going to give you as a price protection is going to be based on what the black diamond would have been when you ordered it in 22. So they're going to give you that difference uh, so that you don't see that big price increase for this year. So uh, let's go ahead and dive in. We're going to talk about the base trim first. So yeah, of course, this is available in either the two-door or the four-door configuration. As you can see here, uh, let's just go ahead and click on four-door and hit start your build. Uh, and the reason we're doing this, actually, I'm going to go back just for a second, is when you click on the view details, this actually should show you all the standard equipment uh, that's available. And as you can see here, it's not giving us all the information. It looks like actually I have quite a bit here that probably carried over from last year. So there's quite a bit in there, so you probably uh, could go through this. I like to do is kind of go through it and uh, like I used to do with my walk around videos uh, when we actually had inventory here. Uh, so we'll kind of go through this and go through and we're going to use the images from the build. So you can kind of look and see how things look like as we talk about them uh, in this video. Now, first thing I want to talk about is your different mechanical features. Uh, so we're going to go over here to the powertrain and kind of go over some of these. So, of course, these are come standard in the 2.3 liter. EcoBoost engine, uh, also going to come standard in your seven-speed manual transmission. Uh, so, but you can see some upgrades if you want to go that route, and the cost for those. And if you go do upgrade, of course, these are standard four x four. Uh, do come with the uh, part-time four-wheel drive system as standard equipment. But again, you can upgrade that if you'd like to. Uh, we'll talk more about some of those upgrades in just a little bit, as well as your transmission. So, uh, this is actually showing the automatic transmission. Uh, as standard here on the four door. So two door uh, standard is the gonna be, so if I go back here and choose the two door version and go in there and go down the powertrain, now you'll uh, see that it's the manual transmission. So uh, on the base trim, uh, 10 speed is standard on the four doors and it's uh, the seven speed manual on the two doors. So as you can see with that, so as we switch back to the two door. Uh, so keep that in mind there. So different options there, of course. Uh, uh, optional upgrades as we go through these. Uh, you do have the auto start stop technology, which means you come to stop light, stop sign, shuts the vehicle off. You let go of the brake, turns it back on. So you can uh, deactivate that on each engine cycle. It is on the center stack screen uh, called the instrument panel there. You can go there, 
press the button and it'll deactivate it for that engine cycle. Now the suspension on this is the Haas 1.0 suspension. So uh, there is four different suspension systems depending on what trim you go with. For the base trim, it is going to be the Haas 1.0 suspension system. You will also get the terrain management system with what they call GOAT modes. Go over any type terrain. So there's a normal mode, an eco, sport, there's slippery, there's sand. So you're going to have those five GOAT modes on your base trim. Also, you're going to have the E-Pass, electric power assist steering. You're going to have electronic stability control, electric parking brake, electronic traction control, hill start assist and for those with the manual transmission you'll also get hill descent control as well and then of course uh, just kind of finish out the mechanical features you will have the front stabilizer bar so uh, that's all the uh, of course mechanical features as we go through that are standard uh, for the base trim uh, let's talk about some safety features now um, and I uh, really don't need to look at that because uh now let's talk about some of the safety features that's included with your Bronco. Uh, so you do have four airbags, the driver and front passenger, dual stage front airbag, deploys a different size airbag, depends on how close you are to the front of the vehicle. You also have driver and pa front passenger side impact airbag. So it's gonna deploy that airbag from the side of that seat if, from on, if you have that side collision to help protect those occupants. Also, you have safety canopy side curtain airbag with the rollover sensor. So if you, the vehicle does roll over, it's gonna deploy that, help protect you from any breaking glass that might come in from the side windows. Uh, you also do get pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking, which means that it's gonna as a, a, a forward collision warning system, also, also dynamic brake support. So if you're not paying attention, cars going much slower than you and you're not hitting your brake, it's gonna alert you, let you know that. So you can apply those brakes and even preload those brakes for you so that they can stop even faster when you do uh, finally hit the brake. It does have post-collision braking as well. So if you're in an accident, not able to get to drive, or park, put it in park or whatever, uh, then uh, it's going to kind of break the vehicle. So that way you don't go have a more severe accident that way. Advanced track with roll stability control. So whole goal on this is keep you on your intended path. Uh, so if you're going into maybe a curve a little too fast or something like that, it's going to use a series of brakes around the vehicle. Put the, apply those brakes where it needs to on those different four wheels. So that way you can keep you on your intended path and keep you uh, driving safe. There is a child safety lock for those four-door versions, not on the two-door. So what it's going to do is those rear doors, you can lock those out so the kids can open those. If you have the vehicle turned off, you don't want them to get out. Uh, you have to uh, unlock, you have to open the door from the exterior when you have those locked out. And you do get perimeter alarm. Perimeter alarm help protect the vehicle uh, from, from any theft and such. So if you have that vehicle locked up, nobody's inside it's going to go ahead and give it a uh, kind of a perimeter sense system there with the intrusion sensors inside so if somebody breaks a glass tries to get inside uh, then it's going to set those uh, honks the horns flashes the lights also if someone tries to take your wheels if they say they uh, you have the vehicle locked and they try to jack up the front of the back it'll do the same thing and let you know of that as well so uh, those are all of our safety features uh, that are on this now let's talk about some exterior features all right, so starting with the exterior here, we're going to start with the colors first that's available for you uh, and go through it down. This is a base trim, and you can see a lot of colors. We really. usually only have about six colors available on the base trim, but not for the Bronco. So we do have the Shadow Black available, Oxford White. We have Cactus Gray, uh, Iconic Silver, Carbonized Gray, Metallic, Race Red. We have Eruption Green, Metallic, uh, Hot Pepper Red. It is a tinted clear coat metallic. It is an extra $4.95 for that color. We do have Area 51, Velocity Blue Metallic, and we have Azure Gray, which is $1,000. It is a tri-coat uh, color, so it costs a little extra there. So those colors are available uh, for this year, so pretty cool there. So moving on down to the next year here, and we're going to kind of go through some of these images. We'll use uh, these to kind of go around the vehicle. Uh, remember, this is available at either two-door or four-door for this year. Uh, of course, just like it was with last year, I guess. I don't know why I said this year. Um, but up here on the grill for the base trim, it is going to be a black molded in color uh, for the grill insert here. So kind of molded in color uh, means it's kind of textured a little bit. It means you won't be able to paint it real easily. Um, and then you do have the black Bronco lettering uh, on the grill there. You will get active grill shutters. That means it'll open and close when it needs to. So open it up, give it as much air flow in to help that engine perform at its peak. It will shut it on the highway uh, for you. You don't have to uh, 
do anything on your end, it'll do it for you. The front bumper is a black molded in front bumper. As you can see up here, it does have front tow hooks up here, two of them up there. Uh, does have up here, you can see the fender tie downs is what they call that right there. So it allows you to be able to put that uh, wire down there or uh, kind of position things and tie things down there if you need to. For your headlights, you have LED headlights, our standard equipment on the base trim as well. Uh, so pretty cool that it has that. Configurable daytime running lights as well. So again, just like it sounds, you can configure those to be on during the daytime. And you get auto high beams. So auto high beams work like your automatic headlights. Turn those uh, high beams on. With the, There's somebody in front of you, dark enough outside. Somebody approaches you, you're going to see the lights, shut them off. Now that's a feature you can't activate and deactivate in your lighting section uh, of your uh your vehicle setting screen now for the side of the vehicle you'll see it is a 16 inch bright polished silver painted steel wheel all season tires come with that 32 inch uh, or no 30 inch on the base trim sorry i was thinking of the the big bend uh, so it's 30 inch on the uh, this uh, trim here you will have the molded in black fender flares uh, right here now those can be come off you can remove those by turning a couple different screws and just popping those out if you need to you will have that molded in black uh, mirror cap as well and you're going to see that with the door handles uh, whether it be the two-door or the four-door version here you do get uh, for the tires they uh, will be a 25570R16 from the factory uh, individual tire pressure monitoring system for all four of those and you get four-wheel disc brakes with ABS uh, the side mirrors are going to be power and heated glass. Manual fold, you will have the integrated blind spot mirror, and that's that angled mirror, so you can see uh, vehicles in your blind spot a little bit better. Uh, you do have get keyless entry, so you can unlock and lock it from a distance. I had to get inside. Looking at this here, you do have the hard top. So two doors are come standard with the uh, carbonized gray molded in hard top up here. It will come with the uh, core side glass windows. Uh, the, the flip up back glass it'll have the hard uh, top sound deadening headliner that's going to be standard with that you also get the rear defrost in there and the rear wiper on the back as well and you also get storage bags for these two panels up here for in vehicle storage if you want on those now the four door is going to come standard in the cloth top so if we go back and, and select that four door and kind of see what that looks like you can see it is that black cloth soft cloth top it'll have the hard top uh, prep kit so it'll be the wiring for the rear defroster and rear wiper if you go ahead and get that so just so you know that you have that uh, that's going to come along with it and then you can kind of see the fuel cap back here easy fuel cap is philidor so you don't have a cap to worry about leave behind getting your hands dirty anything like that just pop that open and fill it up and it does it's a double door system so it does need a certain size nozzle like you get with the fuel pumps if you try to use a can it won't be the right size you'll need to use the funnel that's provided usually put that back in the uh underneath that the rear cargo area down now here in the back of the vehicle you will have for your course we already mentioned the the cloth top is going to be those uh, more plastic windows on the back that opens up uh, so you can kind of get in there a little bit. Hard tops, flip up glass, as we mentioned, rear defrost or wiper. Center high mounted stoplight right here. You will also get the full size spare. So it's going to match the other four exactly like this. Uh, so uh, pretty nice. Molded in uh, rear bumper back here as well, just like we see with the uh, same materials like the fender flares, the door handles and such. Uh, you will have one tow hook back here. So you can see it sticking right there. You have a tow hook right, right below where that tag is. Uh, right there you do have uh, this uh, molded in black door handle here that you can flip open to get inside the cargo area you do have also trailer sway control is standard equipment on these and you get a rear cargo light inside and a power point inside of the cargo area and a little bottle opener too if you just need to for some reason <laughs> so that's in there as well and you do have halogen tail lights back here that are standard equipment on these and don't forget rear view camera as well it's coming out right there where that that wheel goes on Rear view camera, so you're going to be able to see as you're backing up. Even has a grid lines, so you can line up uh, if you need to. So I think I've covered everything. Yep. Let's go ahead and jump inside, cover some exterior in, or the interior features. Now, as we move to the interior on the base trim, you have one color option, and that's the black onyx interior. So you can kind of see what that's going to look like in these images right here, uh, how that'll look, and we'll cover uh, most of the stuff as we go through this. Now, for the interior, you will have illuminated entry, which means when you open the doors, lights will come on on the overhead console. Also down here in the footwells, it should uh, illuminate as well so you can see inside. Carpet flooring, front and rear uh, for the uh, base trim. You will get front floor mats as well, whether it be the two-door or the four-door. 
Your seats are going to be cloth bucket seats. So very dedicated, as you can see there, kind of a two-tone seat there for you. You will get a six-way manual driver and passenger. So forward and back, up and down, as well as the recline. So you can see uh, there's a lever in the front for going sliding it forward and back. And then this lever here is the one that will raise and lower the seat, as well as this lever here is what you use for the backrest. So they're both the driver and front passenger have the same positions for those or same uh, latches and everything for that. They both have a six-way manual adjustment seat. Now in the back, your uh, two doors will get a 50-50 split bench seat, seating two in the rear. On the four door, you can see three back here with the 60-40 bench seat. Uh, both of those can uh, flip down. So whether it be the two door or the four door, uh, of course, 50-50 uh, split fold flat. So you can fold that down. 60-40 uh, for the um, the four door version there. You do get the latch system, lower anchors and tethers for children. So you have little connectors here. Whether it be a front facing or rear facing car seat, buckle those down, keep them down, secure down the car seat. If you do have a front facing car seat, you, there's a strap that comes from that car seat around to the back. So you can keep that top of that back against that seat. And so that way you can keep those kids all safe back there. Uh, also, um, moving on, we'll talk about the inch here. here. You do have the power door locks that are on the on the doors here. So that's where they're at. The uh, power, we'll get the power window switch because it's on the console. We'll cover the console in just a little bit here. But you do get power locks with auto lock and unlock, which means when you start going, it's gonna lock the vehicle up, shut the vehicle off, unlocks them, that kind of thing. Your instrument panel here, you will get an eight inch color digital cluster, uh, the standard equipment, even on these uh, with your speedometer over here on the left side. So pretty cool how that looks. Uh, on the steering wheel, uh, it is, uh, by the way, it's a manual tilt and telescoping lever underneath. Pull that. It'll go up and down, forward and back, wherever you need it. Uh, you do get your cruise control, standard equipment on the base trim, uh, as well as your uh, controls here uh, for the screen. That controls your screen so you can uh, flip through all those. Um, you will get push button start, standard equipment, even on the base trim. Uh, climate control it is a single zone climate control. So one temperature for both driver, front passenger, those in the rear as well. For your audio system, AM, FM, stereo with seven speakers this year, including a subwoofer. So they've upgraded the audio system for this year. Also Sirius XM with 360L standard equipment on the bass trim as well. And you also get the Sync 4 with the 8-inch touchscreen here. So it does have the wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as well. So you can plug those uh, wireless Android Auto and wireless and Apple CarPlay. So you can uh, be able to control it that way. Also, for the mirror is a manual day-night mirror. So you can see that little lever right there. You can just flip that lever and it'll rotate that when you need to. So if cars can come, come behind you with those bright lights at night, you can flip that down. Uh, give you that night mirror right there overhead console i'm going to go to the 360 view for the rest of this here for the video overhead console you can see there does have lights uh, right up there so illuminated uh, map lights and sunglass bin as well uh, to be able to put your sunglasses in uh, you do have visors here flip those down so vanity mirrors are on those as well on the back of them uh, you can you can slide those over and put them on the side if you need to right there uh, and then on the floor console, see if we can get a good view of this. You do have your, uh, of course, your shifters right here for the automatic, or it's, of course, your, well, whether it be automatic or manual, it's going to be right there. Uh, you also do get the GOAT mode switch. It's going to be right there behind that. So for your go over in time terrain, and eh, I can't really see it, but there are controls on the front of the console. Yeah, I won't be able to flip it around. So you do have a console with storage bin inside. On the front part of the console, you're going to have the power window switches up there with auto with auto one touch for the the uh, up and down feature uh, for those windows, whether it be two door or four all four windows for the four door. Behind the console, you're going to have rear controls back there for those rear windows for the four door models. Um, also, you're going to have a smart charging USB ports on the back of the console, so type A and type C. Now, in this media bin in here, you're going to also have smart USB ports, a type A and C as well. So you can charge up those phones and a little compartment to put things in down in there as well. You do have a locking glove box. So you can kind of see there's a key there, so you can lock that up. It's going to get a toolkit as well that comes with it with the Bronco on it. A couple different tools that you might need to be able to take the hard top off and some other accessories you might want to put on it. You're going to have that as well. And then lastly, 
Ford Pass Connect. That allows you to stay connected to the vehicle using the Ford Pass app. It's a free app you can download, connect your vehicle up, you can unlock and lock your vehicle from anywhere, remote start your vehicle from anywhere, schedule remote start times, see the fuel, the tire pressure on your uh, tires, your fuel that you have, even where your vehicle is located using that Ford Pass app. So definitely want to make sure you do that uh, and download that. So that's all of our standard equipment. Now we're going to talk about some different options that are available for you. So let's talk about some of the mechanical um, options that you have for you when you're uh, looking at this uh, at the Bronco here or the base trim. So again, we mentioned earlier, 2.3 liter EcoBoost engine is standard on the two-door and the four-door version, uh, as well as on the two-door version, seven-speed manual transmission is standard equipment. When you go to four-door though, it does require you, it's gonna be the 10-speed automatic is standard. So you can't get a four-door with the seven-speed manual transmission uh, for the base trim. So keep that in mind. 1595 to add the automatic there uh, on the two on the two door if you want to add the automatic it's 1595 now you can add the 2.7 uh, v6 ecoboost engine uh, for the two door or the four door and keep in mind that does require the automatic transmission so if you're looking at a two door you upgrade that it's going to cost you 3490 to do that upgrade right there so keep that in mind too now you do see two different um, uh, drives drive systems here. One of them is part of the Sasquatch package. So if you try to elect to go that route, it's going to tell you that it requires the Sasquatch package. There you go. Uh, so that's how that'll work. So you'll want to hold off on that unless you want the Sasquatch package. Now moving down, talking about the rear axles. So the manual transmissions will come a standard in the 4.46 axle that'll be included. If you uh, of course have the automatic transmission. I want to select that one. See, it does tell me to go switch the automatic. So if I want the 373 or if you're an automatic, it's going to give you the 373 axle there. Uh, rear locking differential is not optional. So you can see there's no price there as well as the 4.7 liter axle is not. Those are, those are part of the Sasquatch packet. So it will require you to do that as well to get those. So that's why you're not seeing any prices as options for those it's because it does require certain packages. So speaking of packages, let's go and talk about one of the packages that is available with this, uh, with the base trim, and that is the Sasquatch package. So this package here uh, doesn't even tell you how much uh, how much it costs, but there you go. Sasquatch package here is going to upgrade and give you the 17-inch black high-gloss painted alloy wheels. Uh, it does have the the beauty rings on the outside, V-lock capable wheels. Gives you the 4.7 final drive with the L, the E locker, like turn on, uh, front and rear axle, so you're getting both front and rear. You get the high clearance suspension as well, and the high clearance fender flares. So they're going to be a little bit wider fender flares as well because you're getting a wider tire. You also get, as I mentioned, 35. Uh, you get the mud terrain tires, the 35 inch tires as well as part of the Sasquatch package. So there you go. That's uh, what's available there and how you can you can add that. I actually doesn't show you there, but I think when we there you go. It's, now it just popped up, and now it's saying it's thirty uh, seventy three eighty five because it requires several other options though, and it says sixty five ninety there. Not sure how that works out, but we'll get to the uh, summary down here and we'll just see how it breaks that down uh, for us if it does break it down. It does not, so it's telling us it's sixty five ninety total uh, for that uh, on top of it. So there you go. So if you want to go to the Sasquatch package. That's how you do that. So, um, so there you go. That's the only uh, other package available. Now let's talk about some different standalone options that are available. Uh, first, start, starting with the exterior features. Now let's talk about some standalone options. There's a lot of options when it comes to the Bronco as we go through this. So we're going to go to the exterior um, tab up here and go through some of these uh, other exterior options. We already talked about some mechanical options for you. So now starting here, they actually do a pretty good job of breaking up some of this. So we do have the bump, the roof section here. And remember, four doors, I'm going to actually use the four door, but flip back and forth to the two door. So four door, again, comes with the cloth top up here. Two door comes with the standard hard top. Uh, so we do have here uh, for the uh, this in here, you do have that top retractable. These these prices, this is 23, so this should be accurate. 2480. So top retractable, full twill soft. Uh, is what it's called so you can kind of see that it's a little bit different i actually kind of like the look of it right there uh, so pretty cool little top so you can get that uh, available on this um, i am going to kind of show you uh, talk to you about some of these are like factory options and some are sent to the dealership and the dealership would install them they're called dealer installed options so we'll kind of go through and uh, check mark everything and make sure i have everything covered here uh, for these so this in here this top 
here it is uh it is uh, this in here is a dealer installed option is what they're calling it so it will be shipped to the dealer uh so basically it would uh, more than likely you'd get a hard top and this would be the option on uh, for you uh, so this is not available with the cloth top so but if you get the hard top you can add this to your order if you do not get the hard top then you probably have to get this through accessories and have it done again shipped to the dealership ahead of time this is by best stop um, so there you go so a pretty cool little top if you want that um, so that is an option for you for those that have the hard top whether it be the two door or two door or four door there so top the mesh shade up here is also available for you so you can kind of see a couple options here you have this one here that's a, a real a good shade here uh, again this was installed at the dealer so dealer installed options so they're going to ship it to the dealer ahead of time and the dealership will put it in um, so that also is available for you if you want to get that that mesh shade Let's see make sure i get these there you go um, and so that's available uh, for you too. Uh, does I believe this and also says you cannot get it with a cloth top. So, but you can't order these through uh, Ford Accessories if you want to. In fact, this next one is one I ordered through Ford Accessories, uh, the Spinami top. Uh, so you can order that as well. Again, it says dealer installed option and can't be ordered with a cloth top. I ordered mine through Ford Accessories, installed it myself for like 30 minutes. Uh, pretty easy to install uh, yourself. So you can always do it that way too. But that is available as well for you. So you have those couple different ones and you have this one up here is the front row uh, twill soft top that's a retractable top so basically you take your front two for your hard tops you take the front two panels off and that one goes in place there so then you bring it down it's a cloth on the top right there but then you can pull it back when you want to again dealer installed option and it's not available with the soft top so again for your hard top uh, if you want to again uh, just something to keep in mind there uh, and then you do have the hard top. So for those that have the four door cloth top, you can get the optional hard top, uh, six ninety five from the factory. This is holding up builds, uh, but would be put on at the factory for you. Comes with storage bags for the front two panels up there uh, that are removable. So there you go. So that is that. Then that's the options for our different for the roof there. So again, the only one uh, most of those are put on at the dealer require the hard top to receive them uh, and the hard top is installed at the factory uh, so there you go some different options there for you now front bumper you can upgrade if you want to go from this bumper to the front bumper the ford performance heavy uh, duty modular i actually love this bumper has the tow hooks kind of in, in, uh, integrated in here it also comes with the front bash plate as well and this is optional for you if you want to go this route uh, and uh, so I don't think this is holding up builds uh, right now. And that's not included in any of the constraint items. So if you want to put that on there, really beefs it up the front. Uh, and it's pretty cool. Uh, so that is available as well. So and that is going to be put on at the factory. It will not be a dealer installed option just so you have that. So I'm kind of marking these off as we go down. Uh, this uh, down here, this bash plate, you'll notice there's no price because that's what's included when you click on the front bumper. You'll notice it check marks the steel bash plate as well. So uh, that's uh, where that comes from. Now let's talk about some other different things in here. Uh, we do have this body armor protective moldings. So if you click on the little eye, you can kind of see that. So those moldings right back here kind of protects it back here. Again, not it says not available with uh, some uh, actually nothing here. So this says available in the base big bend black diamond. Um, not a dealer installed option. Looks like that's done at the factory. So let me find that on my list. There's actually. <laughs> quite a few options here uh, that we're looking for here but this uh, the body armor ones they are a dealer installed option so the dealer would install it uh, not mentioning it there but it, it would be shipped to the dealer ahead of time the dealer would ship and would install it for you a fender flare kit so a little different fender flare if you want this one here you can see uh, more flat uh, there thinner it looks like that is available it is a dealer installed option so it would be shipped to the dealer ahead of time in the dealership or in the, the dealership would install it for you uh, and they would install it within that price so they would not uh, uh, increase any more price so when they do a dio then it comes to the dealership now a couple things to remember not available with the sasquatch package uh, not available with your splash guards either uh, and not of uh, not compatible with the fender flare kit so um, so keep that in mind or the body appearance kit so body appearance kit i think comes with those or something so there you go uh, they got that and then we do have the splash guards so if you want to add those right there not available with the sasquatch package uh, or the uh, the tube steps or the rock rails which actually not on the base but um, 
So that is available for if you want to add the splash guards. Now, some models, splash guards um, are uh, something that's been hold up builds, but not on the Bronco, I don't believe. So you can add that if you want to. And uh, splash guards are and put on the vehicle at the factory, not a dealer installed option, which actually surprises me a little bit. The tube doors. So you can add this for your four door models. You have the two do tube doors there. So add that uh, dealer installed option on that. So that's available for you. So pretty cool uh, how that looks. And um, again, they ship it to the, to the dealer. And really, the dealer's not really installing this. And they're giving it to you so you can install it when you need to and when you want to. So there's a four-door version and a two-door version. Of course, we're only seeing one here because we're on the four-door configuration. Uh, body appearance kit. You can see this one here. Uh, so not available Sasquatch package or your side steps or the splash guards. Uh, but you do have this in here. So uh, just, uh, I'm you know, pretty cool little um, body appearance kit that's available for $17.90. Um, so, and, uh, I believe that is all done at the factory. So, um, find my notes here. Body appearance kit is actually a dealer installed option, uh, not available to splash guards or the protective moldings. Um, so the dealership would install that everything for you. So it does come with a hood scoop. Uh, it comes with the door moldings, the fender flares, um, the OE quality scuff resistant satin black finish. Uh, no drill insulation, 3M, double-sided tape, uh, and adhesive. So, um, so it comes with all that stuff to be able to, for the dealership to install that for you. So hood scoop, door moldings, fender flares for two-door or four-door models. So that is available for you if you want. So actually, looks pretty cool. So, all right, not a functional hood scoop, by the way. Um, and then we do have the uh, cockpit uh, cover. This is a dealer installed option. Basically, they'll give it to you so you can put it on when you want to. Of course, you wouldn't leave the dealership with it like that, but you can put that on there. So if you want to leave the top off, right, and just protect it overnight, you don't want to put the top back on, you can put this on there, this cover on there, so protect it from rain and that kind of thing, and then just take that off the next day. So it's kind of a little uh, cover that's uh, pretty cool there, and it says not available with the outer banks uh, with the Sasquatch. Kind of weird but we are talking about the base so we won't get into that right now so there you go there is that cover right there that's available and again that is a dealer installed option Let's see if i find that there it is right there so you have that option as well so roof rails with the crossbars again does require to have the hard top though um so you can kind of see how that looks there uh, that is that is a aftermarket it's really hard to get they're delayed on that so this is something you may want to get from the factory uh, so you can get the roof rack rails there and put that on the vehicle and uh and again that is done at the factory and not by the dealer so keep that in mind there you go and then kept moving on down we do have the tunnel cover soft so there's several different options here on the back this uh, does require to be the four-door version here uh for that soft top goes over you can kind of see it latches down behind there but you can put that cover over there if you need to uh to protect it hide things inside you can do that as well and uh, let me look i think that is actually a that is a dealer installed option so the dealer would uh, do that now you'd have that shipped to you ahead of time and the dealership would install it so again this is something you can get through ford accessories if you'd like to the brush guard is a factory installed option so it does require the modular front bumper uh, but you get that little bar in the front so there you go that's kind of can be added to the vehicle um and uh so yeah, so that's, uh, again, be ordered on the vehicle ahead of time. Uh, so to put that on if you want. Uh, and really, I don't think it's holding up builds. I haven't seen any delay with brush guards alone. So I think you should be good there. The wheel lock kit, uh, that is also available. That is an aftermarket ad if you want. But as a dealer installed option, they would take off one of the lug nuts of all four, of the, all five of the uh, tires and wheels, I should say, and replace them with those. Uh, so there you go that is uh that's something that you can add to the vehicle wheel lock kit is a dealer installed option as i mentioned um again something you can get afterwards if you want to engine block heater that is a factory installed option that you want to put on at the factory live in cold weather state keep the, uh, the bronco outside that'd be something you want to add to the vehicle and really help it out and get it uh so it can uh, get charged up or get started real easy in the winter time so that's available too and then you do have the roof rack or the keyless entry keypad, I should say. And this keypad is a factory installed option. It's body colored now on the outside, 110. So you'd want to get that done at the factory uh, if you want the keypad entry on that. So there you go. There's all those. Um, there you go. I think I got all those. Uh, there is one that, did I miss it? That I see here? Oh, it's not showing it there. 
So I might have missed it, but there is a removable hoop step for the two door. So if I go to the two door, it's going to show up as an option. Um, so it does require the that that option. So I think there was another one that I wanted to cover too. Um, oh yeah, the tube the tube doors. So um, when you're going down to these extra items, let's see if we can find it in here. Um, where's that? So there's your tube doors for two doors. Uh, there you go. So again, shipped ahead of the, ahead of time, and then. Hmm, not seeing it in here. Here we go. The removable hoop step. There you go. That is available on your two door. It does say available on the four door too, but on the order guide is not showing it available on that. It's saying requires two door here um, on the base model. So again, uh, you are looking there. Base model requires two door, uh, but it looks like on the, all the other models, it's going to be two or four door. So there you go. You can add that to your vehicle so that's pretty cool uh, that's an option for you and you can only find that if you have the do two door config uh, configuration also front license plate bracket if you live in a state that requires a front license plate it's standard equipment but in kansas where it's optional uh, then it's a no charge option dealer will install it for free uh, if you get it afterwards and you have to try to uh, install it yourself and pay for the the install or getting the, the bracket itself so it is cheaper if you want to get it at the factory and again it's not holding up bills because a lot of states do require it all right, moving to the inch here options here. A lot of this has to do with the rear cargo area uh, for the most part. So a lot of options here for you. We do this have this cargo area storage uh, fixed lid. So you can kind of see there. Fixed lid means that it cannot go up. It's going to stay positioned right there. Uh, again, allows you to be able to take that top off if you want to and have, be able to keep the stuff safe uh, safe here for you so again that is available on the uh, on your four-door versions here so let me actually look at my notes because some of these are available two-door some four-door so the fixed lid also keep in mind not available with the slide out tailgate and not available with the cargo area protector um, so you're not available with those so there you go it's an option for you so there's some other things not available with on some versions uh, but not on, on the base that's uh, kind of uh, held to that. You do have the raised lid cargo area storage, so you can kind of see it up there. Uh, it's raised up. You can kind of see how that looks. does require a four-door, it says there, for the raised one. Also is not available with the slide-out tailgate or the cargo area protector either, so keep that in mind. should be able to add the cargo. I don't know why the cargo area protector is not available with that because you should be able to add that aftermarket. I would think probably because there's bolts on the bottom, um, for that to uh, put that in there and so maybe it's not quite fitting just right it's probably a little too big for that area and that's why on those so you probably could still get it and probably get it to work in there if you want to get the um, the cargo air protector afterwards again these are dealer installed options uh, that we've talked about so far cargo area protector uh, actually let's go to this drawer first I don't want to skip over anything so this drawer pretty cool here actually I almost kind of want to get that from my Bronco but you can get this drawer here it does require a four door because of the space in here so it requires that four door not available with the slide out tailgate and the cargo area protector which uh, makes sense uh, right there and again that's a dealer installed option a uh, cargo area protector so again, there you go, kind of uh, shows you what that looks like. So that's going to be uh, cargo area protector should be available on the four door as well as the um, trying to find it here. Here we go. Uh, it says not available at the slide out tailgate, but available on either the two door or the four door versions. You'll just uh, you'll, you'll note that by the size there. All right. You do have these assistance kits. You have an on road, an off road, a first aid kit. So uh, basically do installed options in the sense because it's going to come in a box with this bag and they're going to put everything in the bag and give it to you in your vehicle again can be purchased through ford accessories it's 80 bucks you can get it the, for, through the factory if you want they're going to just ship it to the dealership or you can get it have it shipped to your house yourself the off-road kit same way so you can kind of see that goes in a bag as well uh, that's uh, 210 there for that one and then you do have the um the first aid kit it's the same way there you go so first aid kit as well uh, everything's going to just come in a box. They'll put it in the bag for you and put it in your vehicle. So again, can be purchased through Ford Accessories if you want to. Auxiliary switches. These are a factory installed option. You're going to want to put that on your order, your build if you want it. Should not hold up your builds. So it is going to be uh, pre-wired pre for you for different lights, setups, different things like that that you want to plug in uh, and be able to run those uh, wires already in certain spots. 
for you already. You're going to see it's kind of replaces the overhead, the sunglass bin, where that would be. That's going to replace it and be right located right in there on an overhead console for you. $195 for that. And again, factory installed option. Done with that page. <laughs> now moving on down, we do have floor liners. Front, uh, front and rear with carpet uh, mats or front and rear without the carpeted mats. So that's how that works there. Not sh those usually are one's usually cheaper than the other. But there you go. Uh, nice floor liners in the vehicle. Actually put these on my build. I uh, really like them. Uh, they'll work really well. And uh, available in the two-door or the four-door mo models. And that is a factory option. So it will just come with the vehicle. When it comes in, they usually put it in the back. And then the dealer would just uh, put those in place for you. Uh, upgraded front and rear carpeted mats. So remember, we talked about uh, front floor mats. Here, this is available in the two-door and the four-door version. You're going to get upgraded floor mats. It actually doesn't tell you. It says unique carpeted mats available uh, for either carpeted or vinyl flooring. Uh, so upgraded floor mats uh, for you that's uh, available and uh, does replace the carpeted floor mats uh, and not available with the floor liners front and rear. So, of course, you can't get this with the other floor liner system. The slide out tailgate. I've actually been telling you that that's not available. Uh, certain things are not available with the slide out tailgate. So here's your slide out tailgate. Uh, so this is available for you. This is a factory installed option. Requires four door. Um, it says uh, tip prevents on vehicle door storage. So keep that in mind too. All right. Cargo net kit. So you can kind of see uses those tie downs. Put things in there so they can't move around in there. So you can add that. That's a Ford accessory. That's a dealer installed option. And again, that's something that you can get through Ford accessories real nice and easy. So, all right. And then we do have cargo area rug as well. So you can see what that looks like right there. So you can put that in there. That should be available on the two door or the four door versions. Yes, it is. It is a dealer installed option. So it's shipped to the dealership ahead of time. The dealership will put it in the vehicle for you. Again, get it through Ford accessories if you want to. We have these uh, storage bags, the front rows. That's going to come standard on the the um, for those hardtop versions, the two doors, or the if you get the option of four door, it will automatically come with those panels. That's why there's no price there. You have these storage bags for the doors, so three fifty. So don't forget those. Uh, they help you. You can kind of see that back in there. They go in there. It also gives you an availability to kind of line those up so they'll fit back there when you need to. So for on uh, for in vehicle storage there. And again, it requires a four door um, and uh, with soft, it says with soft top. Requires four door with soft top. So, not sure why it can't fit with the hard top. Evidently, it must stick out or something. Uh, so, there you go. That's available for you for the door uh, bags. So, and does it says requires four door with standard soft top uh, with hard top prep kit, uh, standard top on four door. It says requires, and then it says also note requires four door, provides on vehicle storage bags. And then the other one down here is the front row panels and door bags. So you're going to get both there. So you're going to get the door bags and the front two panel bags as well. And again, this would require the four door. Uh, S actually, it also says it requires hard top. And hard top contains front two panel storage. This option adds the door storage bags as well. So you're already getting the storage bags, but when you go to this option, you get both for your hard tops. So there you go. And what's funny is you can't get the storage bags with the hard top alone because you go with this one instead. That's why you can't get both. So it's basically you choose one option or the other. So that's why that one wasn't compatible with the other. All right, moving on down. We do have the hard top sound deadening headliner. You notice there's no price because that is included when you go to the hard top. So that's why it's listed there. Tailgate table is 310. So there you go. That's going to come ahead of time. So if you want something like that, you can have that added. So tailgate table uh, is uh, not available with the slide out tailgate uh, and as a dealer installed option. So the dealer would install it for you and something you can get through Ford accessories as well. And storage uh, roof bags for the second row panel. So it's 180 if you want that. Nice little handle. So again, does require the four door hard top for this uh, if you want to get that. So it doesn't say it requires a hard top. It says requires four door, but I'd assume uh, you would only need it if you had the hard top, right? So the uh, safety uh, deposit console lock box. So this is pretty cool. I actually have a Roush one that's just like this. Um, pretty cool. It locks up for combination there. That is available for you. That is a dealer installed option. So ship to dealership ahead of time. They would install it for you. 
And lastly, one of the things that's not showing here because it requires the two door. So we'll go back to two door and get it to pull up. Go to the interior. And that is the cargo area storage trunk is what they're calling it. There we go. So this one is going to be, of course, a little bit it's smaller. It goes back there for the, the two door versions. So you can kind of see it's a little, uh, they're calling it a trunk there, requires the two door not available on the four-door versions and so if you're not seeing it also not available with the cargo area protector as well right there so that's all of our interior options as well uh, i think i've covered everything there and a lot of those are dealer installed options a lot of those can be purchased through ford accessories you can install them later if you want to if you don't want a chance holding up yours uh, for being scheduled for production so there you go. That's our complete guide video on the 2023 Ford Bronco base trim uh, video. So I've covered all the standard equipment uh, packages available, the Sasquatch package, plus your standalone options that are available. And I like to, you know, throw in there, you know, what is available what, of those uh, different options that you're looking there are available from the factory and our factory install options you want to definitely do. And then which ones are uh, something you can get the Ford accessories if you wanted to, to not uh, take, uh, have a possibility of them being scheduled. So one other thing that I did not mention and I like to uh, usually highlight in here, uh, and that is that you can go through, let me click this, uh, at this point, once you get down through the options, you've selected everything, in the summary, you can kind of see the breakdown of this. Now, one of the things that sometimes you'll see pop up and it's not doing it right now because you can't lease one of these, but sometimes on some vehicles, you'll see a 645 acquisition fee and that is for leases but on the bronco you cannot lease those so there you go so that's uh, that actually kind of breaks down and show you things you can go to the calculator you can uh, configure payments and everything like that through there uh, pretty nice and easy to do uh, right there on the website so check out the building price real nice and easy available for you to be able to do and use right there so again thanks for watching this video i hope this uh, helps you out especially if you have a 22 right now and you're trying to think about how you want to configure it for 23 this will work out for you right now we cannot put any new orders in uh you know depending on when you're watching this video and if you're well, the day of recording this we're not able to put in a new order yet um but we will soon so hopefully this video will help you out when we are able to do that and for those that have a 22 and they're trying to decide whether or not they want to go to stay with the base uh what options you want to add hopefully this video helps you out with that and it's available for you so now if you're wanting to put in the 23 order when order breaks open up check out our youtube channel hit that red subscribe button down below so you can get subscribed to the channel hit the notification bell that way you can stay notified next time we have another video uploaded to the channel and when we're able to order the new uh, 23 bronco uh, i will be putting a video out letting you guys know that it's available to be ordered um, if you want to order through your hopefully you have a great local dealership i commend that you work with them uh, if you know if you're struggling to find one uh, we are doing msrp pricing on all of our ordered broncos uh, we have a 500 dollars dealer fee and we do have a special of free shipping if you want to uh, if you finance the vehicle with us uh, then we will ship uh, we will pay up to a thousand dollars of your shipping cost uh, to have it shipped to your door so keep that in mind anything uh, if it costs more than that then uh, you would just pay for that extra we'll pay for, we'll cover the first thousand dollars of the shipping costs if you finance a vehicle with us so uh, you can take us up on that offer if you want to uh, just uh, call, give us a call here at the dealership uh, and we can take care take care of that and help you out and get that build uh, we do have the building price so you can send that build to us so we have that ready to go when they open up if you'd like to just giving us your information at that time so again thanks for watching this video hope you liked it. if you did smash that like button i'd really appreciate it. it helps out the video find us on social media we're at la macarthur on facebook twitter and instagram and if you want you can follow me there's my link tree account you can see all the different places you can find me on social media uh, and uh, you can always connect with me that way so again thanks for watching this video hope you enjoyed it till the next one we'll see you